Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Hidden Hills. Let's check out this model. So, this one right here, this is the Castle Hill. It is three bed, two and a half bath. It's a two car garage. Eventually that glass will be changed back. Right now it's the sales office. It is 2,213 square feet and it starts at 392,990. Now, just real quick to show you where we are, kind of up here in the hills in Summerlin, maybe just a hair north of Summerlin. It's really pretty over here and today has been insane. It actually was snowing earlier today out here. So make sure to hit the like button if you like these videos. I put them out every single day and it really helps out the channel if you hit that button. Also, make sure to subscribe if you wanna stay up to date on tours. I do once a week a $25 Amazon gift card. In order to win that, you have to be subscribed. So stay tuned for that. Another one coming out this week. And again, if you want to see new homes, don't go into the sales office. Don't go look at the models without a realtor. Make sure to bring a realtor with you. Don't fill out information online because the builder will not let you be represented. The sales associates they will facilitate the transaction, they will help you with the transaction, but they will not represent you. So if you want representation, make sure to call a realtor. This is kind of cool, how you walk in. It's just way up there. I would do like a big drop light, like a big chandelier. Pretty neat. Before we head in, I feel like there needs to be another light though right here, or a lamp or something that's a little dark. Let's see what we have down here. Oh, interesting. Let me turn on the lights real quick. This is the first time, or I guess I was in these models a little while ago, but I haven't seen them in quite a long time. So your powder room is right off the front entry. So front door, you have some built-ins. Again, with this builder, Lennar, basically everything you see is included minus the flooring. That is an upgrade. You'll get the cabinets right here. They just will be uh, whatever color you choose for your kitchen cabinets. And we have our powder room. Kind of an interesting spot that it's way up here, but it's kind of nice that it's a little bit secluded from the rest of the house. I know sometimes they put them like right by the kitchen, which sometimes is a little bit of an odd design choice. Right here we have our tree. <laughs> it's supposed to be up in the bedroom. We have our powder room and it's a, or it's not a powder room. We have our coat closet. And it's a pretty deep coat closet, which is kind of nice. Before we check out the downstairs, and I'll give you a little sneak peek, it's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and head on upstairs. Like I was saying, this flooring, this carpet, this is the upgraded carpet. Pretty much everything you see is included. They did the, the carpet and the backsplash, that's about it. If you have questions about this home, any home that you have seen, make sure to give me a call or send me a text. Let's check out the loft. I love the fact now, it may be different if you have small children with the railing instead of the pony wall, but it makes it feel so much more open. Really cool. So you have this smaller loft area. It could be like a little playroom, a little kind of man cave. I would turn this into an office space personally. But you do have already a Smurf um, tube set up. So there's a tube that goes behind the wall right here so you can run your cables, you can hang a TV and not have to worry about the cables showing. Hmm, pretty nice. This is cool too. How you can just see over the railing right to the front door. Let's head down the hall and see the bedrooms. So right here where we get to the end of the hall, we get to, is this the master bedroom? You know what, it is the master bedroom. Before we head in, let me just show you the closet real quick. Let me hit the light. So we have our master closet. It's not a bad size at all. It just needs either some more shelving up above or I would raise that bar up and add a second one and you would really increase your closet uh, size. Not bad at all. Just it needs to be laid out a little bit better. And most of the builders, they do that on purpose because a lot of people end up, you know, changing up their closet or adding some more storage. 
here we have our master bedroom. So that's a king size bed. You know what? There's actually a second closet. So king size bed. Those nightstands are probably close to four feet long. They're big, three and a half. Nice big window. Let me just turn on this closet light real quick and I'll spin around to show you what that looks like. I like this bedroom. There's three nice size windows. Sometimes the bedrooms out here get so ridiculously big, you need like another living space in it. This is a really nice size bedroom. But you know what? They took the tree out of here. It's down in the closet. Here is our second closet. So it's definitely smaller. But again, the fact that you have two closets, really, really nice. It's probably mm, close to five feet by four feet, just to give you an idea. But if we spin around, we have our master bath. So right here we have our toilet area. We have our separate tub, separate shower. Now these are composite materials. It's like a fiberglass composite, but you have your tub and you have your shower. Really nice, they give you the bench, even the soap niche. I am so incredibly happy that they did the rainwater glass. It's privacy glass so that you're not seeing into your neighbor's house. Sometimes I don't know what they're thinking when they, they do clear glass and you can just wave across your neighbor. So you have to get window treatments for that glass. But again, standard cabinets. This is gonna be your standard undermounted sink, your standard fixtures. You know, a lot of builders, this would be an upgrade. I, it's a nice size vanity too. You actually have a medicine cabinet here and a medicine cabinet here. So two medicine cabinets. And we also have a linen closet. There's quite a bit of storage in this bedroom. We head out of the bedroom and let's find these two secondary rooms. So coming down the hall, we hit our laundry room. And usually these are just on sensors, yep. So a lot of storage, really impressed. This, if you don't know what this is, this is all your Cat6 internet connections and all your wires and whatnot. I'll show you, they have boxes up in the ceiling to prevent dead spaces. They put out uh, Wi-Fi, it's kind of cool. We have our washer dryer, they do give you the shelf. They don't even give you an option to put um, cabinetry up above. If you want to do it after, you can definitely do so. I don't know why all the lights are off in here. It's so weird. Let me just turn this one on real quick and we'll head into this bedroom. So second bedroom, it's a little tight. I'll be honest, it's not horrible. I've been in some models that are smaller. That's a full size bed. They do have two nightstands, nice big window. They even have a chair and they have a dresser. So the room's probably maybe 11 by 11, I'm gonna guess. But one of the nice things is the second story is actually nine feet. So the ceiling is higher than a lot of builders where they build on the second uh, floor. You get your standard two door uh, sliding closet, but the ceiling height is making these bedrooms feel even bigger, which is really nice. If we come on in here, this room is bigger. Not by a lot, but definitely it is bigger. So another full size bed. They have a desk, they have a nightstand. This is probably maybe 11 by 12. You have a dresser, you have your plant. I wish they just had more lights on, especially today because it's been so gloomy out. It just stopped raining not too long ago. I like this bedroom, it's a good size. And we have our two door closet slider. Let me know what you think about this house so far, uh, so far with this tour. It's pretty nice. We get to our upstairs bathroom. So double vanity, really nice. We have our toilet and what I really appreciate is the fact that there's a second door right here so you can close off the tub shower or the toilet and someone can still use the sinks. We have our toilet. And we have our tub shower combo. Now again, fiberglass composite material. At least it has the edge for soaps and shampoos. I wish more builders would put the built-ins, but this is pretty clean. Not 
bad at all. Let's go ahead and head on downstairs, check out the living, check out the dining, check out the kitchen, because I know, if I remember correctly, this kitchen is really nice with a lot of cabinetry. So you basically have your great room all in one, living, dining, kitchen, and it does have a lot of cabinets. That's how I remembered. I like this kitchen. I like this layout. It just feels homey. So there are a good amount of windows in here. So you have one, two, three windows, a big slider. You have your living space now. They won't give you the, the lighting fixture. They'll give you a pre-wire cap. Um, so you could do a fan, you could do a light, you could do, you know, whatever you so please. Just want to come around so you can see everything. I like this kitchen. There's a lot of counter space, a lot of cabinetry. It's nice. If we come straight across, we get to our dining space. So that's a six person dining table and it doesn't feel too big, which is nice. Sometimes they make it where like there's no space for dining, but this actually maybe just needs to be cheated a little bit farther to the left, but it's a good size. Before we look at the kitchen, I just want to point out the backyard. So with this builder, you will get the pavers, you will get the covered patio. Now the backyard, everything you see minus the pavers will be dirt. So definitely keep that in mind. There is snow on the ground right there, <laughs> just to point it out. But keep in mind that you will be responsible to do the backyard however you please. There's even more over here. So average backyard out here is somewhere between 10 and $15,000. This is probably about 15-ish, just because it does have the barbecue. It has the second little uh, retaining wall with all of the plants. It has the grass. This might be just a bit more. If we spin, you could run a buffet out of here. There is so much cabinet space, so much countertop. Before we look at that, right here is our, what I'm guessing, pantry. Since we already saw the coat closet. Oh, you know what? Let me just turn on the light real quick. So you have storage and pantry. Where's the light in here? Oh, here it is. So all of your storage for your pantry and even more. So if you wanted to add more shelving, you could definitely do that. This is a big pantry. If we spin, you have your little espresso area, little nook area where if you want to put uh you know um coffee pot anything like that they even have a pre-wire for a landline so if you use a landline they already have it all set up they did kind of like a subway tile look they did the 42 inch uppers on top i oh i would die to have this much cabinetry now usually with most of the builders you will not get the fridge but they did the stainless steel appliances. You have your stainless steel undermounted sink. You have your, if you don't know what this guy is, this is a reverse osmosis water filler. So basically bottled water comes out of that. You have your faucet. This is your view while washing dishes. And you have your dishwasher. I'm gonna come around real quick just to check and see, cause a lot of times they'll even put more cabinetry. There's even more cabinetry under the island on this side too. So you really only could fit three bar stools on this side. Coming back over, we have our oven and our five burner cooktop. We come up above that. We have our stainless steel microwave. And I always like to check because sometimes people ask, it is vented outside. And there's two, four, six cabinets on this side with all that counter space. It'd be fun for holidays in here. Let me know if you have any questions about this one. Let me know what you think about this one. Is this your style of home? Do you like this one? Is there something that you would point out a little different? Right here we have our built-ins and that would lead to our two-car garage as well. So there is a little mudroom area. 
Very curious to hear what you guys have to say. Again, make sure to give me a call. If you have any questions, send me a text, shoot me an email. All my info is down below. Would love to hear from you. Make sure to hit that like button. Again, it really, really does help out with the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss future videos. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.